Hi there, I'm Steve Knudsen. In today's demo, I'm going to show you how to work with pages in an intranet site. So on my intranet site here, I've got a number of different page types. I'm using news pages. I've got pages which are linked with my global navigation, whereas things like my toolbox, for example. Um, and then we've also got quick links on the right-hand side over here. Now, one useful uh, purpose for an intranet is to provide resources for new people starting in your organization. So what I've done is I've created a new employees page. I've linked it to this quick link button here. So by clicking on this button, it will take me through to my uh, published page containing my information for new starters. So this is a page within my hub. It could be a page in another site as well. On here, I've got a variety of things, including um, an introductory text. Um, I've got links to useful things. I've got some upcoming events. Um, I've got I've used down here a different uh, version of the quick um, sort of the quick links web part, and then I've got things like a map and um, I even got a Yammer feed um, in, in my page. If I wanted to edit this page, <clears throat> the first thing I can do is go to the right hand side up here, click edit. From the edit option, I can do something like change the header image. So if I wanted to change this header image on the page, click onto header image, use the pencil. And from the pencil, I can change my header layout type, so I can change it to a different style. Um, so if I wanted to have a um, taller layout, for example, <coughs> I can choose the color block. It gives me a nice big picture, or I can turn the header off. Um, a wee tip, if you do want to create pages with no header at all, you can copy the original home page for the site, rename it, but then you need to edit a few of the properties on that page to make it work. So now I've changed my style to a new picture, I'm going to also change the image. So I'm going to go down, down to my um, image option over here, choose that, and then choose an image from my stock images. So Microsoft provides a great variety of stock images. You can also set up your own corporate library um, and have that shot here with approved imagery. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to go something like work. So just search and see what we find. Um, and we're going to find some... Uh, Pictures here, something that looks like somebody that's new, maybe starting in the organization. So let's have a look. Maybe choose this one here. Insert the picture. And that's going to replace the banner image at the top of the page. So now, once I've done the. Uh, oops, what's going on here? It's not going very well. Always the way there, it's, it's just took a moment to come up. So there we go. So now we've got my new banner image at the top of the page and I can close out of this page and hit republish if I want to publish or I can go down and I can edit these web parts. So this one down here, for example, I've got links that go to our people, our community, our values and our environment. This is just using the quick links web part, but you might want to see how that's configured. So I've got go to edit with the pencil. And on this one here, I've used the film strip view um, and when I use the film strip view, I get these larger images and the titles underneath. If I change the style to say something like the um, uh, something like the tiles view, you'll see it changes that style to that. Or I could use a compact view. But I quite like the film strip view. If I've got to have large buttons on the page and I want to highlight an image on there, well. Then for each individual image, I can click the image itself and then edit that. And I can change the link and the title and the related image to that particular button. Um, I've also got events web parts um, and the Yammer conversations web part. We'll just have a look at this one here because this is quite useful. So we're going to Yammer conversations and you can see in here we can choose a community, a user, a topic or a home feed um, and then we can tell how many items in that feed we want to have. Quite useful for people that use Yammer and if you're not using Yammer it's actually quite a nice way to create a community um, where it's a little bit more interactive. Um, and also allow feedback and so on, and you can control the conversations, etc. So quite a useful tool. If you haven't looked at Yammer for a while, probably time you did have another have another wee um, look at it. <clears throat> so now I've re republished that page, um, and and it's got all my updates now available. So if I go to the home page and click through, I'll get to this page here. Now I can also take this page and create a page template. <clears throat> so a page template will allow me to produce other pages in the site which follow the same format as the one that I've created here. Um, I can edit those pages and change web parts, images, text, etc. But produce an overall consistent look. So to do that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit the page again. And so when I go edit the page, under my save draft option over here, if I push this wee down arrow, I get an option for save as a template. So now I'm going to take my new starters page and I'm going to create this into a template. So what it's doing at the moment is it's going to uh, 
ask me in a second to um, give this a name. So the first thing I need to do is give it a name. If I don't give it a name, I can't save it. So this one here, we'll just call this one um, uh, demo info template. So this template, um, when I look at my template gallery, that'll be the name tem tem demo info template. And I'm just going to save the page. So that's nice and easy. Um, anyone can do that who's got edit rights to the page. Now, if I go back to my home site, so right back to the home of my internet, and I think I want to create a new page. So one of the pages I want to create over here is a page for my manager's toolbox. So I'm going to click the new button, create a new page. And when I do that, I'll be presented with a gallery. So I've got my demo info page here. And when I choose that, you'll see I get a preview, which is exactly the same as the page that we just created. Now, I'll go create page. It'll now create a page based on this template, which I can then go and edit. So if I scroll up to the top of this page, the first thing I want to do is call this one manager's info. Um, and I want to change the image because we don't want to, um, you know, we'd like to have a different image on the, on the header show manager. So I'm just going to go to my, to my stock images again. And this time I'm going to look for someone that looks like they might be a manager. So search for manager. And then once I've found someone that looks like a manager, you'll see a couple of things that happen here. So the first thing is when I insert this picture, you'll see how it hasn't aligned the picture properly. What I can do is I can just choose this little option here to set the focal point on the image. And then I can move the image around just to make it a little more um, aligned better. Uh, and I can also <clears throat> go down here, change the links, etc. So I might want to change this one here and say um, something along the lines of, um, uh, welcome to the manager's toolbox. Um, of course, everybody that puts these sorts of things on the internet will probably have much better words than this. So I'm just going to go that, do that and republish. Now when I republish, it's going to give me a few options here. I'm going to have the ability to promote the page. But one option that gives me down here, I can promote the page, I can post it as news, um, I can email it to someone, I can post it to Yammer. Um, I can save this page as a template or I can copy the address. I'm just going to copy the address. And then what I'm going to do from there is I am going to go back to my home page. And on the home page, I'm going to edit this quick links web part here. So I'm going to edit this one, choose edit. I then going to edit the web part itself. So I'm going to say page is ready for editing. Whoops. Just going to wait for it to finish rendering the page. It's rolled down the bottom, so I'm just going to click up here. I'm going to edit this web part, and then I'm going to edit the manager's toolbox option here. So I'm going to hover over that manager's toolbox, click the wee pencil, and I'm going to change the link from here to my link that I've just copied from to my clipboard. <coughs> Insert the link into my page. I can change the icon here, I can change the custom image, I can audience target. Now you'll see one thing I've done here is I've audience targeted. So if you're a member of the managers group, you'll get the icon, but if you're not a member of the managers group, it will hide it. So that's quite useful if you're wanting to hide away navigation from people that don't need to see things. So once I've done that, I'm going to republish the page. And now on my managers, on my intranet, if I go to my managers toolbox and click on here, it will take me to my new managers page. So that's really how you create pages, set up templates, um, add them to your navigation, uh, a few editing tips, and hopefully that's been useful. Um, if it has, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing more internet focused uh, content over the next wee while. Um, and so I hope, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed it. Look